I'm Lori Lovellbar, and this is In My City. Welcome back, guys. Oh my gosh, this is a bittersweet episode for me because it's the season finale. And with the season finale, we kind of wanted to shake it up a little bit. So I have my two beautiful co-hosts today, and they're here because I'm getting interviewed. <laughs> so ladies, I would always love to start out the show where I introduce who, I, who I'm sitting with. So let's get the people getting to know you guys a little bit better. And we'll start off with Christina. Hi, everybody. My name is Christina. I am a digital content writer for drug and alcohol abuse. And in my spare time, I like to make jewelry, which I do sell. I enjoy writing poetry. And I also like doing improv. Mm. Nice. I like Cute. that. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Shania, and I am an insurance specialist. Um, in my spare time, I do like to do event planning for events, uh, reading, writing, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. I love that. I love that. So like I said, these ladies are going to be interviewing me. So I'm a little nervous because I'm not too sure of the questions, but I told them that they're, they're able to ask me anything about my first season and, so, and my journey. So we're going to start off. Who would like to start off? Oh, I'll go. Okay. I've got a good one. So, Lori, what would you say your biggest challenge was in your career? My biggest challenge was getting over myself. Mm. It was definitely the fear factor of jumping in and getting this done. And um, it's, always, it's always you, you know. It's always you always getting in your way. And I had to learn how to step out of my way and just achieve what I needed to do. And, you know, you do that just by writing out your goals mm -hmm. and, and just getting things and just getting everything in perspective. So just getting out of my way was probably the most difficult thing for me to do. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Very good question. Very good question. <laughs> so, Miss mm -hmm. Lori, yes. where did you find your content? Did it come to you or did you go out mm. and find it? <laughs> Actually, full circle. Okay. Um, um, first started out by going out and looking for my content. Okay. And um, I first wanted to find all these great established businesses and, you know, get them out there to, to the viewers and things. But I was running across brand new businesses, open for six months, a year, nine months and things. And I just said, you know what? No, these are the people I need to feature. And that's what happened. So once the content got out to the people, that's when I would get other companies coming in and wanting me to start to interview them. So wow. it's full mm -hmm. so Yeah, it was really, really wow. great. That's so, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so Lori, would you say that there's a particular person a song that you might have heard, a quote or a book that you've read that really transformed how you went about your career? Wow. Um, I wouldn't say that there's one. Um, I was raised on the premise that it takes a village to raise a child. Mm -hmm. So there are many influences for me. Um, I believe in help, self-help books and, and people of the such, like Ian Levin said, mm -hmm. Tony Robbins. I love him. Steve Blacks. I, I love, oh, good. they're very, yeah. very good people to, to um, have as mentors, and they don't even know. Some of these people don't know me, but, you know, they're my mentors that I look up to. So they're the, those are the people that I've been um, influenced by and wow. um, keep going on mm -hmm. with. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So let's say you do get a business that mm -hmm. does want to, you know, say, hey, I have this business, business I want to um want you to come and interview me so I can get more business out there. Mm -hmm. And you did your research mm -hmm. and you've seen some bad reviews. Yes. Do you write that business off or do you still go and say, hey, I'm going to give you the chance to put yourself out there and make whatever, what happened right? I love that. That's a actually a very, very good question because, yes, I do my research on these companies. Um, I check out their websites. I do Google um, reviews and things like that. So if I find something that's negative about them, you know, the whole concept of In My City is to build businesses up, not break them down. 
So it is still someone that I would go and I would still interview and give them a chance to um, not redeem themselves, but get their information out. But then there's a second part of um, the business and actually the network that I work for, which is where we would get together mm -hmm. and we would come up with some kind of business development that we could help bring back this company in that the way that awesome, it needs actually. to come into. So, no, I never, there's never writing anyone down, writing them off because we need to build each other. That's a great question. And that's an awesome question. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> so would you say that you had a favorite guest? And if so, what makes them your favorite? Mm -mm, y'all want to do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I, you know what? I didn't have a favorite per se, because everyone was just so different. You know, the the energy that we had on each episode was just totally different with each question, with with each person. So I wouldn't say I had a favorite. Um, I learned something new from each episode, mm -hmm. from each interview. There was something new learned. So I don't know. It's just just vibing. Just even what, like right now, just vibing with you guys is is what I enjoyed with each episode. I was able to do that with every guest. That's awesome. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a great question. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Preparing for the episodes, uh -huh. like what was like? Did you have like a certain thing that you did, or like what was the behind the scenes preparing? To well, it, oh, wow yeah, okay that is a really good one like you know people have processes mm -hmm. and things like that I have no process um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing, I'm teasing. Um, <laughs> um, well first is uh, when I'm interviewing someone I make sure that I get information from them so um, if they have articles written about them uh, their websites um, I would go and I would research those things first. Like I said, the Google um, reviews, because a lot of the people that I interview, they're um, service-based. Okay. You know, so I definitely would go and see what their reviews and things are. So that's what I do first. Um, and then I actually do a pre-interview, which is so really cool. I pre-interview. I have questions um, that I do with my guests. Um, first, so I can kind of get to know them a little bit better, and it helps develop um, the structure of the conversation for the episode. That actually makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I try, just a little bit. You know, once in a blue. What is something that you, what would you say that your intention would be in every single episode? Wow. Mm. Hmm. The intention for every episode is to always promote the person who's being interviewed, promote their concept, their products, their businesses, their, their, uh, their cause. It's always the premise mm -hmm. for, the, uh, for the show. Oh my gosh, that was a great question. And this was a really, really fun way to end this segment. Mm -hmm. So coming up, we're gonna play a little game. Mm. Welcome back. <laughs> Oh my Ooh. gosh! Are you guys ready? I am a little nervous. Me too. I need some of this wine here. I know. Keep I know. Chill. Okay. <laughs> so I was told that the executive producer made these questions up, so yes. we don't know what's on these papers. So. I ha I have no idea. I've not seen any of these questions. I haven't seen okay. any. I wanted to be on the same playing field with you guys. So please. Please pray for us. <laughs> I am shook. I'm not going to lie right now. Oh, my goodness. I'm look, not going first. I'm okay. too scared. Look, watch. You see? So my cup, who look, I'm drinking. First? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Let me, um, you know what? I'll jump. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are the top three mistakes women make while dating? Ooh. I like that question. Jeez. I got one. You have one? Okay. Going in, okay, I don't want to sound anti-woman, if that makes sense. Listen. Going in expecting the man to automatically pay. I, I kind of get that because, you know, just 
it might not be a date. Maybe it's like right. we're getting to know each other. We're going for coffee or something like that. And I like to eat, so I'm not just going to have coffee. Right. That's I'm true. Not, you know, yeah. right? Yeah. I might not want you to pay for me. I, I kind of get that. Mm -hmm. Ooh, first, first mistake? This one yeah. of the three mistakes a woman makes while dating? While dating. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Number one, expecting to change that man. Ooh, oh my yeah. gosh. Spill that tea, sis. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Expecting to change that man. Mm. Listen. Especially on the first day. And Ooh, especially, no. you know. Doing too much. Doing <laughs> way too much. Like you just met, dude. Like, That's true. Give it a second. But no, I'm, listen, if he's not willing to change, he's not going to change. So I'm, I think that's one of the biggest mistakes. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a really good one, mm -hmm. and that's definitely good to remember even in your relationship. Yes. You know, yeah. accepting your partner. I think one that some women may do is getting too serious too soon. Like, you're on the mm. first date. You shouldn't be talking about kids and marriage. You don't know the guy. <laughs> right. It's been a week. You shouldn't be, you know, dreaming about your last names together. <laughs> talking about, oh, do you want a boy or a girl? That's great. You should really try to see how you connect with the person because you may realize you not you don't like him, and he I'm, may realize he's not for you. I'm so. only drinking because I know people who do that. Oh, oh, oh no, not me, but <laughs> it's just it's so true. Pace yourself. Yes, pace yourself. That's a very good answer. Those were real good responses, ladies. So I'm gonna kind of keep it in order. I'm gonna go next. Mm. Go, Lori. Go, Lori. Oh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, of course I would get this question. <laughs> what, say? what was your most embarrassing moment ever? Oh, oh my gosh. I can't uh. believe I got this question. My most embarrassing moment ever. I'm going to go back to um, probably childhood. Mm. <laughs> um, and I can't believe I'm about to share this, but I'm just, you know, since I didn't know the question, it's the first thing that popped up in my head. Um, I was six and... Um, and I try to teach my daughter this now to always check yourself in the mirror. So I was six. I went to the little girl's room. It was assembly day. And in New York, assembly day, you wear a white shirt and uh, girls had to wear skirts. So we had on the, the um, pleated navy blue skirt. I went to go use the bathroom. And of course, I didn't check myself. I pulled up my stockings. And the back of my skirt was in my pantyhose. Oh, no. Poor thing. So my cute little booty was out. So. <laughs> oh, my God. That was probably... Oh. I can't believe I just said that on camera. Oh. But I was sick, so it was cute. Right. So I let it go. <laughs> it wasn't your fault. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. Oh, I, no. So I teach my daughter now. And listen, women, teach your girls... Even your boys, check yourself before you walk out uh, the bathroom. There's a mirror there for a reason. Re rule use of it. Thumb. Yes, <laughs> use it. <laughs> so, mm. you want to share? Um, I remember really being really nervous to talk in front of people in high school, mm. elementary school, mm -hmm. and I had to give. This happened a few times where I gave presentations and I had it all mapped out in my mind. I practiced in the mirror before class, and as soon as I got in class. If there was one student in the back, like, cracking up or talking, I completely froze up. So I remember, yeah, I remember being in one, I think it was, like, in seventh grade, and I was talking about something, and I, my mind just went blank, and people were staring at me, and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't even know how I handled that. I don't think I used improv at the time. But, uh, <laughs> did you was cry? Not, I didn't cry. Okay. Thankfully, I did okay. not cry. Okay. I, just, okay. I just think I... I just awkwardly stood there until oh my, my teacher just stage, sat me down. Stage so. fright is yeah. real. Yeah, it's, it's, it's real. Really, it's, it's real. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You have an so, embarrassing moment? I do. So <laughs> I'm going to say I had to be about, I want to say, eight. Uh -huh. And um, back home in Jersey, my uh, grandmother, she was like the, the key to the whole family. Mm -hmm. Like, she was just a diamond. And... Um, that summer, be before we went back up to Jersey, I had learned this um, dance mm -hmm. in camp. Uh, I think it was our Kelly's, I believe I could fly. Oh. And I learned the dance, and I was just so proud of dancing it and whatever. And we had like a family reunion when we came back home. Mm -hmm. So, of course, the song comes on. Uh -huh. And I'm just like, kind of like in my little corner, yeah. you know, I learned to dance. I got it down packed, so I'm learning it, I'm dancing, I'm doing it. And my girl was like, come on, baby, come on, come on to the front. Uh -huh. And she's up, pushed me to the front of the whole family. And I'm like, just, I believe I can fly. <laughs> and 
<laughs> my cousins and my aunts are just laughing. And my biggest supporter, go ahead, baby, you got it. I'm like, it was embarrassing, but it was like encouraging at the same oh, time. Man. So it was like, yeah. Okay, Grandma, if you say I could do it, I could do it. Right? So, <laughs> so that was my most, most oh. embarrassing because the family, of course, you know, they, my family's yeah. jokes are so they laugh or whatever. But And um, family can be so hard. I love yes. my family, but my family is just like real hard. So, hard. so oh, God. Oh, yeah. The yeah. biggest critics. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell love me about them. that. I can relate to that. Oh. <laughs> All right, y'all. It is my turn. Yeah. yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I can imagine. Can I plead the fifth on this? Episode? <laughs> can I? Can what's I get the, another? What's the question? <laughs> Nikki or Cardi B? <laughs> oh, I was legit thinking about this on the way here, so this is very funny. <laughs> really? Mm. I like them both. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love it. I love it. Well, Ugh. oh my gosh! Listen, I'm gonna answer that real quick. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> That's the cast. That's the crew. <laughs> but I'm gonna answer this real quick. Um. They're both from New York. Mm. Hands down. Like, yeah. they're both from New York. What can you not love about them? It's not Nikki or Cardi B. It's they have Nikki their own flavor, and Cardi right? B. Yeah. I'm just saying, she's just a regular, degla, smegla girl from the Bronx. I'm just a regular, degla, smegla girl from the Bronx. So, so I gotta, gotta, gotta say, I gotta no, say Cardi. Shady. You gotta say Cardi? I gotta oh, say Cardi. Cardi. Oh, Cardi. Oh, Cardi. Cardi. Oh. She's winning right now. She's right. my top. So I'm not, I'm not gonna hate on that. You know, I'm just like, you know, they're, they're two um, beautiful. Awesome. Awesome women, awesome women doing their thing. So uh, you know, you anytime know. a woman is doing her thing and she's comfortable in her skin, mm -hmm. even if it's uncomfortable with the social mores of that time, mm -hmm. I'm down. And I think both women embody that very well. I yeah. love that. I love that. All right, all right, all right. Let's. My turn, my yeah, turn. go Ooh. ahead, go ahead. Okay. Let me see what you're gonna get. <laughs> all righty, okay. Oh, okay. This is actually a good one. Okay, what do you got? Would you rather travel to the past or the future? Ooh, Ooh. that's a good that's one. Juicy. Oh. Yes, it is. Ooh. Um, ouch, that is a tough one. That though. is. I'm going to say the future. Ooh. Because um, the past is, I mean, it happened for a reason, mm. so I wouldn't want to go back to change anything. I like that. So I have no regrets or, you know, whatever happened in the past made me be a better person to where I am now. Mm. So I wouldn't want to change anything, you mm. know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I'd rather travel to the future. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I would probably say, I would say the past. Okay. And um, to kind of just kind of stick with the whole theme of In My City, it would be... Um, just to interview some certain people, I would really like to sit down and actually have a conversation with. Okay. Um, definitely. Um, uh, who would I love to interview? That's a good question. There's so Ooh, many, right? There is so many good people. Oh my gosh, I can't even think of one right now because there's so many. But I would definitely. That's what I would want to do. Just sit down with some people and just kind of pick their brains mm -hmm. on some things. That they're no longer here. I gotcha. Okay. You know? I yeah. gotcha. I would also say the past, just because, you know, being in the present moment and seeing what happened in the past and how people had to really change, like going through the 60s or going through the mm. 80s or going through like the 50s in a time of political change or artistic change, you can really understand how people grow and to be part of really interesting historical movements would be mm. something really cool to be like, oh, yeah. I have this story, I met Dr. King, or, you know, I I was around when this song came out, and mm. I, I met this Pretty person. Dope. Yeah, it's really cool just networking in the past with some people who are really monumental. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. That was a good question. That really was a good question. Kudos to the EP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. Oh, <laughs> yeah, how many 12 more to go? I know, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is the funniest, corniest pickup line someone has tried oh. <laughs> to oh. use on you? Oh Thank my God, goodness. this is a good one. Let me see. Mm. <laughs> Let's see. What is the most corniest or funniest pickup line I've ever heard that's ever been used on me? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Girl, are you tired yet? 
you've been running on my mind all day. Somebody actually no. said that to you? Girl. No. <laughs> Did you say girl? Oh, no. <laughs> Stop oh, it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I can't. So that just wasn't a Will Smith Fresh Prince oh, episode. No. Somebody really no. did take that No, yeah, and I was like, please. No. <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> Uh, most of them were corny pickup lines that I've heard. I'm not gonna lie. Um, what's one that stands out? Hmm. There's never been a particular line. It's just more of an approach. Okay. Yes. So like, if if you're walking and a guy's following you and he's trying to talk, hey girl, hey girl, where your man at? Yeah. Why you single? Why you single? <laughs> Can I get your number? You got a man? Oh, he's not here. Good. Yeah, okay. okay, we talked. I'm like, listen, you're you're full on stalking me right now. Right, right. I don't like I this. I should have 911 on speed dial right yes. now. Yeah, <laughs> and I have my pepper spray. So what's up? Yeah, <laughs> it's really uncomfortable. Just the approach. I think you know some guys just don't understand women's boundaries right. and they don't know what's uncomfortable or comfortable to be said so they can end up doing things in their body language that they feel is okay and it's mm -hmm. aggressive but it's really off-putting mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. I like that yeah I'm gonna say like like Chris said like the approach like because I'm from up north so it's the Ayoma approach oh wait do you remember back in the days the cat calls Psst. no 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 no, no. you're oh that, 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 right, hey, yo. Hey, hey, it, it was that, <laughs> and then when you don't respond to that, then it's the <gasps> now you're just this B. The you is you know I mean? real, yes. right? Ooh. That that's yes. like the most corniest thing. Because which one is it? Are you do you want to approach me, or is now your ego is kind of bruised? So now you like, you know what? They want to call you ugly and right. value you, but it's like you were talking to me ten right. seconds ago. Right. 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 right, I didn't say I didn't anything say anything to you. To you. Mm -hmm. This is so true. Yeah. So true. It's so very true. hostile. It and is. You have, to, you have to have a thick skin and love yourself because you can get mm. caught up in the backlash of not giving a guy attention and he wants to project this ego on you like you're this negative person and you did the most destructive thing, but you're allowed to say no. You don't right. have to be receptive of that. You know what I actually, to kind of turn that question around, what I actually liked growing up with um, other guys that did something similar, they would, you know, they would try to approach and I would just not give them the time of day my favorite part is when they would turn around and say, okay, Miss Well, you have a good day. And that's when I would actually turn around and say, you too. Right. Mm -hmm. That's when I would actually like, you know what? Maybe maybe I should just, you know, say just say hi. You know, it won't hurt. But yeah, I love that when guys would just, you know, instead of them taking their ego being hurt, bruised mm -hmm. or anything like that, they're like, it's all right, Miss. You just, you have a good day. I just wanted to tell you how beautiful you look That's today. That's how you, you know, know they were raised, right? Yeah. Yes. Respect goes a long yeah. way. It really it does. Goes a long it way. really does. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. these are really good questions. Shout out to the EP. <laughs> <laughs> we got the wine and the tea up in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right. Let's see. <clears throat> What is the most embarrassing thing you've ever worn? What's up with this embarrassing? embarrassing. Like really? <laughs> um, I gotta really think back. I have worn. This is not a big deal. Mm -hmm. Um, I had my hair wrapped up going to an exercise class one time, and it was in like I had the little scarf on, mm -hmm. and I don't usually wear my hair wrapped up with the scarf on. So to me, that was a little awkward. Outside. Okay. Yeah, that was okay. a little awkward for me. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh my like god. Now it's like it's called the bonnet. The, before it was a scarf. It was a scarf. Yeah, there remember? You yeah. There you go. Now it's the bonnet. Old school, yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I actually have two because then you just reminded me of one. Um, it was what I worn. One was a hairstyle because um, I thought it was really cute. And um, I used to wear my hand a pony ponytail. I was a teenager. And I used to think like I used to do like a Shirley Temple curl every day to school. And I thought that was the ish okay <laughs> um so that was one and then um the other one and please no one look on my personal facebook page I'm going but to. <laughs> um, i had my sister talk me into doing carnival i'm from the caribbean so mm -hmm. we played mass one year and my sister waited until i had children to wear mass costume and if you don't know what mass costume consists of it's like it's a bralette mm -hmm. And panties, okay? It's a bikini, right? I've had two children. <laughs> and she had me wear this costume. Listen, I wore the hell out of my costume. Because I was on the floats and everything and partying. But that was probably embarrassing. She waited until, you know, you do that stuff when you like in your 20s, teens and stuff. No, I was 31 thinking I was cute. I done had two babies and out there looking a hot mess. So that was it. <laughs> I'm going to say I... Probably had two, and the the most the one 
that stands out is my husband. He actually picked on me about it when I showed him like one of the old pictures. Uh-huh. You guys remember Pele Pele, right? Yeah, with the baby right. belt. <laughs> yeah. <Yay. laughs> so it, I had a pair of those jeans on, and these this particular style had buttons mm-hmm. going down the the size of the legs, the, the legs, mm-hmm. and it was cute. And he was and he was like, "Babe, no, that was not cute. <laughs> you had bottle caps on the side. It's really hard. <laughs> you got bottle caps going down the side of your jeans. I don't see how you got back in high school. I was like, and it just made me. I thought I was like." Wait a minute. Listen, that was the fashion. <laughs> that then. was the fashion, but he made cool. me feel embarrassed. Like, when I showed it to him, like, you know what? I don't think I should be showing you this. <laughs> and then, um, I'm going to say embarrassed. I don't know if you guys did it, but I would wear my hair up in a ponytail, mm-hmm. and then we would go to the stores and get the little lollipops. And I was <gasps> did the you do that? ponytails. Oh, my oh, God. Did you do that? that? I did. I yeah, used to do it with the different. blow pops. Yes. The blow pops you used to get. You would have pigtails in, and I don't know who... <laughs> Decided that sucker was cute, but we all did. It was I, I want to say it was an up north thing. It, it was weird. really was an up north thing, and we would do the lollipops. I I actually saw a girl who did. Um, remember the um, the sugar daddies? Yes, she had one of those in the crown of her head. One. Oh, <laughs> she had two ponytails, and she 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 adorned her ponytails <laughs> with sugar daddies. I was like, what the heck? Oh my gosh, it oh. it was a thing. It was it was the days, girl. Man. Be, be glad. Yeah. <laughs> be glad. Oh, my God. So whose turn is it? Is it my turn? I yeah. think, yeah, okay. I think it is. Let's see. All right, EP, what you got for me? Let's mm. see. Oh. Okay. Idris Alba or Michael B. Jordan. Ooh. Ooh let's drink All to that. ladies must answer at once. Three, <laughs> two, one. It Michael is B. Alba. Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Really? <laughs> yes, that dark chocolate. I think Ooh, he's hold a on. Virgo and he's foreign. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think it's a light skin thing. Oh, well, I'm not. Love, gonna, love I'm, you guys, but you see how I said Michael because he's light skin and I'm dark, and then they said it just because they're light skin. I'm so. not gonna lie. I'm attracted to the. See, you know, I like his My accents husband. and his. Yes, like, I do love the British accent. And he's a Virgo, and that, that's nice because that's compatible mm. with my sign. Okay. You know, he's cool. got that, like. Oh, you've been doing some research. Only a little bit. Like, <laughs> I like the way he, he's very classy, and I like that. Stock much? <laughs> no, I like no, to no, do no, my no, research. No, no, no. Okay. We're calling it research, no, not right. stock. Like, I, like okay. I like his class, and I like his versatility. Oh, uh, as an yeah. I agree. I, I agree. That's really and that thing. he's a DJ. Yeah, he's, he's very versatile. Yeah, I didn't know that. He yeah. actually started out as a DJ. He was a horrible DJ. I remember him telling the story. He was a horrible DJ, but he's gotten better. But yes, he's very very versatile. He's good on the one and Yeah, two. I and you're right. He is very versatile. I do like. So here's the thing. I kind of feel like you're kind of com- trying to convert me. You're, just, you're giving me all the reasons why I should <laughs> Listen, be saying. Listen, he's a Brit. Just, Have you heard the accent? <laughs> Michael B. Jordan is definitely love, attractive love, though. He, he is. is. Okay, okay. Michael B. Jordan, Ari, my cousin. Look, I'm doing this for you, boo. I'm gonna tag you in this. So, Michael B. is from um, Newark. So he's like oh, right here. Not, so you know, okay, it's like you know, little cute dimples. Little kind of type thing smile. going on, yeah. So, smile, but you know, all answers are valid here. He's yes. likable though. He's definitely. He is. He's he very likable. Very he's nice right. personality, and he seems very down to earth. They yeah. both are. Yeah. yeah, they're both very attractive. Who wrote that question? EP. Mm, mm, <laughs> trying to start war. I know. Kind of forever. Kind of forever. I like that. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, the EP must have wrote this question for okay. me. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, oh. what would it be? I'm a foodie. I don't know why this EP wrote this question. I'm a foodie. Just one. One? Just, just one, one thing? thing? Like, we're women. Like, we love food. Yeah, we have, like, like, we have, we, there's, a, there's an occasion for, for food. <laughs> like, oh, my gosh, one thing forever. For the rest of my life, there's nothing oh, else the to eat. Oh, it's the rest of your life. It's, mm. it's the one thing, yeah, for the rest of your life mm, that you tough. could eat. I'm, oh, golly. That's tough. Is it like an entree or a side dish? Or just I don't, he said one <laughs> thing. <laughs> one, one food. He said one food for the okay. rest of your life. What would it be? This is a stressful question. It really yeah, is. Dang. So I'm going to. I think I feel my hair falling out. As I'm <laughs> yeah. I know. I'm like, oh, my gosh. So I love chocolate, but I can't live on chocolate for the rest of my life. So I'm going to say, actually, you know what? I would say coconut. 
Mm. Because okay. at least I could get I can get something to drink from it. It's it's like I I can versatile. get a meal. It's versatile, right? Mm. So I can get my um I can get my coconut water from it, and I can get and I'm not just talking about any coconut. I'm talking about coconut. Yeah, oh, you put the straw in the <laughs> yeah. coconut. The straw in the coconut. coconut. Oh my yes. gosh! And you get the jelly. Oh, yeah, you get the jelly. So you have yeah, you, yes. and, all right. You get the jelly. So you have you have substance <laughs> and you have your water. Put it on your hair and you put it on your skin. Yeah, yes. shine up. You know that is smart. Versatility. <laughs> That's so, smart. Coconut. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like that. <laughs> that was that's, a a, that's actually a really good right. answer. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I don't think I can follow that. I, mean, I, I still don't even know. That. Like I have to think logical because I'm like it's the only thing. Oh. I'm gonna be able to See, mine's is not logical. I'm gonna say I was gonna say potatoes. Why because, is that not logical though? Because cause you can get potato water. Starch put weights on you though too. So you gonna need to stay thick and fine. Right. But I'm saying like. Potatoes. I said potatoes because it's versatile. You you got the French fries. You got baked potatoes. Mm-hmm. You got mashed potatoes. It's not you know yeah. not the same mm-hmm. meal every night. That's so true. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I actually like and plus that. Plus, my mom she ate potatoes up the day I was pregnant. I had like a white starch. Oh, are you wow. serious? Yeah, I love potatoes, so yes. Yeah, so oh my wow. god, <laughs> that's a very good answer. Yeah. I don't eat a lot of beef now, but if I were in this situation where I had to pick something, <laughs> uh-huh. I would go with beef because it's a very versatile meat. It is. Protein, True. you can do a lot with it. You can season it different ways. Mm-hmm. Um, and you it, have a taste I, the same. No, it's not. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very, it's, it, like, unlike chicken or fish, which I like, it does have a similar taste after a while. You mm-hmm. get tired of it real quick. But I feel like beef, you can do a lot with it, and you can get a lot of your iron, your protein. You get B vitamins from that. So that's probably something right. that would be. I like that. These are all good answers. Yeah, mm-hmm. really. Well, we smart. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so smart. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. When was the last time you had too much drink? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I feel exposed. Oh, dang. Outside of today, <laughs> probably the last, last week, <laughs> last Saturday. I won't say it was too much. It was just enough. Thank you very much. I um, need to handle myself like a lady. Okay. Always, always. We don't you have know, to celebrate. And this is the thing that I want to add in real quick. With, uh-huh. with drinking, it's perfectly okay to know your limit. Right. Because there's always something to celebrate in life. And a lot of people yes. who drink every once in a while want to have fun and want to let loose. But when it becomes a dependence or when you feel like you're in a negative emotional space and you're going to your drink to solve your problems, that's when it's not good. Yeah, so good. definitely be aware of your limits. Know your limits. Know how much you can take. Know who you're around. You don't want to be around people you don't trust if you're drinking. Mm. Ladies, always be safe. Yes. Make sure if you're out in a club, you have your drink on you at all times. Mm-hmm. Um, fellas, don't try to force women to drink. Do not put anything in their drinks. Mm. Be safe. Mm. People out here are going through a lot because they're not paying attention to their alcohol limits. It does affect your body, so be aware of why you're drinking. Mm. Limit yourself, be safe, and have fun with it. I love That's that. That's a profession talking. You hear yeah. that? You hear that? I love <laughs> that. That was perfect. Oh my gosh. You didn't turn up yesterday, man. I know you was going to see. <laughs> you see how they like telling on me? I was going. I was just going to say like you know maybe t- today, but um, actually I, I thought I was very well behaved. I, yeah, I agree. I, th- I agree. So so, so you can't count yesterday. It's my, it's my birthday. Um, yes. yes, I turned forty. I turned forty on the twelfth. Don't look at it. Wow. Yes. Belated. <laughs> thank you. Aquarius thank you. season. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> um, so, um, but you know what? I have, I think I've outgrown drinking to get wasted. I yeah. was never one of those kinds of people because I'm not, I don't have an addictive personality at all. So I, it, it's not something, I don't drink to just get high or anything. I drink to get, ce- I, I drink to celebrate, mm-hmm. you know? So mm-hmm. enough is enough. I, I'm a kind of person that, I don't like feeling any way different from what, right? How, who I am, you know. I don't need anything to like boost me up, really. So it's just a drink to celebrate. It's just, you know, just like the Bible. You know, you you drink yeah. wine to celebrate the occasions. You right. know, you know, you don't drink to get silly. So, um, gosh, I was probably I was early twenties was the last time like I drank crazy. Yeah. You know, but recently, look, oh my gosh, my EP is giving me the look like, really? <laughs> really? 
Really? You got a stock bar at home. Like, I've, <laughs> but oh that's different. It's I a celebra- celebratory bar. Yeah, it is. It's a celebratory bar. I love I'm This is why I love you. these ladies. <laughs> they come in to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say the last time I, for that question was my birthday last May. It was, it was just. I remember that. Bad. I remember that. But since then, it wasn't. <laughs> I've actually, like, calmed down. Like, like you got, like, lady says, I drink now. It's like to celebrate. What job would you be absolutely terrible at? Oh. Ooh. Um, I'm going to so tell on myself in a second. Are you really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh. So I'm going to tell you the worst job I would ever <laughs> I would ever have and be terrible at is definitely being a maid. <laughs> because I'm sloppy as hell. <laughs> oh no! I am. I am. Like she could admit it. I'm gonna be it's honest. Listen, that's that's it's true. right. That is the first, first step. First step, step right? Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's right. Mm. I'm a. I'm, mm. I'm. I won't say I'm a slob, even though maybe my EP would. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna say I'm a slob. <laughs> but I would be a horrible maid. I. I don't make the bed well. <laughs> My husband is great. He's he's great at all that stuff. Um, the bed looks like a hotel bed when it's made up in the morning and everything. Awesome. When I make it, it looks like a five year old. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd be a horrible maid. I really okay. would. I, but listen, my bathroom and my kitchen would be extremely clean because I'm very 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 anal about those two places. <laughs> and let me ask you this: Are those in and out? Are those in your favorite out. places to be? It's not that they're my favorite places to be, even though I am, like I said, I am a foodie, and the bathroom is not really, well, yeah, my bathroom is Make my haven. Yeah. 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 But That's no, why, guys. No, no, seriously, the reason is is because it's an in and out kind of thing. You know, you can get sick, Okay. you know, um, if your kitchen is not clean, right. salmonella and things oh, like yeah. that, you know, oh, yeah. and the same thing with your bathroom. Your bathroom. Yeah. I'm a yeah. woman. Everything sits down Very on everything. So, uh, you know, I just... I, I want to make sure those two places are clean all the time. Everywhere else, Health-wise. Mm, husband, love yeah. you, hubby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say a nurse. Simply, really? Why? It's not that I don't have the caring personality, or mm-hmm. I don't think it's a valuable profession. My mom is a nurse, and mm-hmm. I think all nurses work really hard. They really right? do. They go through a lot, and I feel like they're very underappreciated and underpaid. Yes. Um, it takes a toll on your body because you're you're having to be available. Like you are a vessel of 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 healing to someone else. So you have to be in your right mind. You have to always be healthy. You have to be available. Now, the part that makes it challenging is you're dealing with people when they're their most vulnerable. Yes, They're true. sick. Sometimes people are battling life and death. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of times people don't understand that when people are sick, they're, they're, not, they're not in a positive mood because they're aware of how Very vulnerable true. they are. Their body is failing them. Mm. They're angry. It's a highly emotional experience. So when you're a nurse, you're having to take on a lot of negative emotions from people who are yes. not feeling well. Mm. Wow. And if you're someone who's very empathic or you're very connected to higher vibrations, that can bring you down. It's sad, you yeah. know, people are dying around you. Yeah. You have to go to work the next day acting unaffected. You deal with family members who may be very nasty to you. Yes. Mm-hmm. They don't understand how much energy it goes into doing what you do. Sometimes you have um, staff around you, medical staff around you who are not appreciating what you do. Right. right. So you can feel burnt out really quickly. Yes. Um, and so because of all the side effects of being a nurse, I think it's an honorable position, but I just think that they go through a lot. And like my mom would tell me stories and I'm like, I couldn't do that, mom. Hats off to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You have to always hold your composure. <clears throat> People are cursing you out. People are, are, are just completely invalidating you sometimes. Mm-hmm. And you have to c- stay in control of that situation mm-hmm. and continue to give high quality care to someone yeah. even after they've done that and the hours yeah yes. the hours that they work 12 hours. oh my god Ooh. 12 do they is it four and three like they work four mm-hmm. days on three yeah. days my mom off still does those sometimes it's crazy wow. it's very yeah it's a very and highly respected double respect shifts it. oh yeah it's, 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 it is it's very, to her and all very the other much nurses out yeah, there. yeah. Yes. shout out to the nurses because oh. you guys work hard kudos i'm seriously you guys we we don't know what we would be without you guys when it comes to care so it's it's true Wow, that I like that answer. I really yeah, do. Yeah, that's like a real deep answer. It really is. Yeah. <laughs> so mine's more Christine like on is a, very, very right, deep. She's <laughs> so mine's like on a, ni- a lighter note. I couldn't be a chauffeur. 
Oh, okay. I barely deal. I barely tolerate Siri telling me where to go. So <laughs> I don't know about it. Like someone in the back. You can't backseat. drive, Miss Daisy. No, <laughs> you, you make a right. Well, what? You get up here and do it. Shouts out to all the lifts, Uber drivers. I, I couldn't do it. That's why I try to be on my best behavior when I'm back there when y'all driving me around because I'm like, how y'all do it? I'm like, I don't know. You telling me to do what? No, you do it. So, I don't know. You know what? I can't be a chauffeur. You know what? The funny thing that you just you said about said about that is that when people are providing you service, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? Why is it you can't be nice? Like mm. it's, it's, oh my it's, gosh. it's it's you know it's so true. Like you said, you you're back there and they're driving you around and they're driving all day. But anybody who's even even people, especially people who fix my food. Oh, I am so. Oh, yeah. I don't understand how people are rude to servers. You know, like they can. They're they're helping you to have an enjoyable experience. You can be nice. You can be say, nice. "Hey, this is not what I wanted. Can you please return it?" Right. But when you're gonna act a fool in a restaurant, that is such a huge turnoff. I understand why people do some. Why they do what they do? Is it, oh, don't condone yes. it, but I, I understand don't, but I, why I get it. they do what I they get do. It. <laughs> yeah, that's being a server is not easy. It really isn't. Kudos to everybody who, yeah. who's in service. Service okay? industry. Ooh. So, Hospitality and all. Mm-hmm. I love you guys. Mm-mm-mm. What's the most useless talent you have? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Question? Shame. I don't know. It's right. Like, <laughs> pure Ooh. shame. Wait, read it again? Look, it's right here. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> it says, what's the most useless talent you have? Oh, my gosh. Now I got to think. Because I think all my talents are, are useful. useful. Useless? Mm. What's useless? Mm. I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's useless. Right, right. It has no power, but you know, it's it's, just, it's a talent. That's Everybody a good can answer. do that. Yeah, you I know? like that. It's you know, I learned that in science that there's some people can do that in the twisting of the tongue. Mm-hmm. Not everyone can do that. I, I learned that in that. high school. So, and I can't remember my science teacher, but it was Stevenson High School. So, big ups to Steve- <laughs> Stevenson High School in New York, in the Bronx. Hey, B.A. Hey. Hey. But, um, yeah, not She's everyone can do that. that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Now, when the last time you did that? Huh? When the last time you did that? Probably. Um, you know what? This is going to touch my heart. Is it tell you how useless it is? Oh, my gosh. The last time I did it, I actually did it with my grandpa, who Aww. has passed away. Um, he passed away at 99 about two and a half years ago. God bless. I guess. And it was something that, like, when I would talk to him over the phone or anything like that, he used to do stuff. He used to do a, um, a kind of thing. I can't do it like how he does it. But And I used to do to him. So. Oh, that's cute. Aww, that that's is. a cute backstory. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. like that. Thank you. Um, I guess I'll show and tell something. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, not that, it's not as interesting as hers. Okay. But I can bend some of my, oh my oh, God. Like, God. ligaments in a weird way. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, okay. I mean, and then, like, sometimes I, I, I like to do my research. I'm a little bit of a nerd, so I'll break, it, break out some totally useless information at a party. Really? Um, are you one are of like, those? I am. I don't OD with it because, you know, I'm too busy drinking. But, um, <laughs> or dancing or eating. Right. But um, every once three. in a while, I'll be like, like how I said Idris was a Virgo. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's a lot. Oh, that's like, extra. Okay. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, that's what I'm talking about. Listen, some, some of us like to know that. I'm, I'm into astrology. I so. like astrology. Me too. I like, I like astrology. Myself. So we're all about that life then. Yeah. So, you know, you so we know. wouldn't have said, okay. Just, right. We would have like, okay. Right. He was like, you're Virgo. Yep. Mm. Know a little bit of something about those burger. I know tons about cancer. Do you? Uh, oh, you really? Mm. That's a little, that's a that might be for that's another a different segment. Episode. Another mm. segment. <laughs> <laughs> that's a yeah. That's so, a good combo. Um, it's kind of not ladylike. <laughs> Don't ask me to do it because I'm not gonna do it though. Well, I can't do it. <laughs> Useless. I could like. Burp on cue. No. That is cool. You have to do it. Oh, I love you that. You have to do oh it. My Hold gosh. on. You said you can let do it on cue. Right? <laughs> I like this. Hold on. Let, let the bell go. Oh, my God. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Can you burp songs? Not yet. Dang. Oh, but cool. you're practicing? <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> and the wine had nothing to do with it. Like, like yeah. My husband was like, was she really? <laughs> like, yeah, that's really why I love useless. you, girl. All right, that's great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. That's yeah. fun. That's cool. Yeah, it's really so, that, that should be an embarrassing moment. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fun one. That really was. Oh my god! I think yeah, it's right. Christina. Oh boy. Oh my god. <laughs> These questions oh today. 
<laughs> what is the biggest lie you've ever told? Oh, Jesus, I am not going there. Ooh. I don't lie. Can I have I'm honest all the time. I, oh, first of all. she lying. <laughs> that was it. That was the answer to the question. That's the biggest lie. She lying. <laughs> um, you need to fill my glass. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not. Don't judge me, world. Um, I have... Oh. Ugh, I don't know if I can tell you. <laughs> uh, I don't want to expose myself Just too much. Just remember we're on TV. No, okay, so, <laughs> zone. so a little bit of backstory. Dating nowadays is obviously very challenging. Yes. And you have to assume that people that you're talking to are also entertaining other people. Right. Until yeah. you're committed. There's right. nothing wrong with that. No. But sometimes, in order to make the guy feel a little more connected, I, I might let him know that he's, he's the only one that I'm talking to. Um, I don't think we none of us have ever not, not did that. Yeah. Yeah, but just like you know how guys would be like, "Oh, am I the only guy?" And you'd be like, "Yeah, of course." You know, and then you make them feel reassured. Right. So that's like the most kind the of biggest, current yeah. lie that I would tell, and it's that's not something that I volunteer if he doesn't ask. But, right. You know. <laughs> then technically, you're not lying. Right. If they don't I lie. told you I don't like it. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, you you're, you're the only one at the moment, right? Like right in front of me. Like I'm that's not a lie. And, and they tell that lie too. Oh, so they do. Mean, it's just so. like whatever. You. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Hit the memory bank. So, um I lived with my aunt and my sister and her two children for like a school year. Mm -hmm. And my I, I don't know why, but she would lock everything up in her, <laughs> in a certain part of the house. Mm -hmm. And her son, I, I don't know how she did it, but it was like a doorway that did not have a door. Okay. So she put like a entertainment center in front of it. Mm -hmm. And him, <laughs> and he, it was around Christmas time and we wanted candy canes and we couldn't get to it without her being going through her door because she locked it. Right. And he <laughs> kind of pushed himself through the, the um, entertainment center and got over to get the candy no. canes. <laughs> right. So that happened, and he we were like, on the other side, get four, get five. You know, we all could go and get it. So um, she had came home mm -hmm. early mm -hmm. while he's all on the other side. So she was like, hey. Where's where's what's the name? Oh, he's at the basketball court. And she was she was just, she was in and out. She was like right. coming for lunch or whatever. She didn't go in her room, or whatever. And that was like the biggest lie I told. Like he was like, get over here. <laughs> so I, I was like, yeah, Mook's not here. He's he's he's, he's at the basketball court. She's like, okay. <laughs> and um, after that, we had like, Auntie Puffy's coming. Like 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 get get back in here or whatever. So that was like the biggest lie I told. I, we were sweating profusely. It's uh -huh. like. And then when he got over, you got a candy cane? So, <laughs> so, so everything happened, everything happened all right. We, we didn't get in trouble. We got a candy canes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You're a great storyteller, by the way. I'm like, she? dang. It's like, it's like in it, right? So well. I'm, I'm there like this. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, my God. The biggest lie I've ever told. I'm an Aquarius. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't lie? Yeah, that's what we're going to stick uh. with. We don't lie. Um... I was, it was so crazy because I was just talking to the crew and stuff. We were talking about this the other day. I don't lie. I have gray areas. Uh, <laughs> I, have I like that. Areas. I'm using that. I, I don't like lie. It. I have gray areas. So um, the biggest lie, I've, I'm trying to think of what's the biggest lie I've ever told. It's actually something, okay, so it's something that I did that I stopped doing and I now, I, I, I'm, I now work it in a way that I'm more honest about. And it's probably, I, as a child, as a teenager, I hated hurting pe people's feelings, the people that I love mm, and stuff like that. Okay. So um, I had a girlfriend who would always say, oh, Lori can just so, like, beat around the bush. So she would just, I, I'd find a nice way to tell you how I didn't like something. <laughs> and um, I guess I kind I guess I would call that kind of a lie because sometimes I would just tell you I liked it and I really didn't. Um, I, I think that's probably probably one of the biggest lies I can think of right now is just probably lying about saying I liked something and I did. didn't like it. Mm. Oh, I know. Oh, there it is. Okay. Auntie, <laughs> Auntie, I love you. I'm going to start off by saying that. There was a Christmas that I had gotten a sweater from my aunt. And I'm one of those that I'm a real cornball. I love corny Christmas sweaters. And um, this year, she didn't get me a corny Christmas sweater. She got me a, a regular sweater, right? And I remember, and she was just like, she just thought she like did the greatest thing because she thought she knew my style. 
the way how I like to dress. If you know teenagers, they don't have, they have their own specific styles and it's so freaking crazy. <laughs> so she brought me this sweater and it was a plain sweater and I remember she was just there, right? She was like, open it, open it, open it. And I was like, okay. And I opened it and I'm just looking at her face and she's there like. She's waiting for your spot. <laughs> like, you know, like, Did I do good? <laughs> yeah, you know, and I'm like, oh my God, I love <laughs> it. I hated it. Like, that was the biggest lie I ever told, but I didn't, like I said, I didn't want to hurt her feelings or anything like that, and she was so excited about it, but I love you, and I have many aunts, so I won't tell you who it was. Ah. Oh, I've done that before with friends who've, like, given me the same yeah. type of gift over and over again, and I was like, girl, what? thanks. Why you get I actually <laughs> re-gifted it to somebody else. <gasps> did, really? I did. Have How you did that ever re-gift the person who actually gifted it to you? No. Good. <laughs> right. So, uh, like, I think long and hard about it, but Listen. I did do that. It's like, oh, Listen, thanks. don't do that. Don't get caught did up. Did that again. person actually enjoy it? Enjoy, uh, uh, did that person enjoy it better than you did? Like, um, was it that never, person's feet? I never knew if they did or not, you know. Because I, I didn't hang it. around. I was there like, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But no, I can relate to that. Right? I, I think yeah, that's I a really, like, almost, I don't want to say necessary lie. But there are times where, lying is never good, but there right. are times where you have to kind of, Take into consideration how someone's going to receive something. Yes, yes. I don't. Sense. I don't advocate playing with people's feelings. So if you don't want no. a relationship, or if you don't like the person, don't waste their time. Right. Please don't. No. Right. That's messed up. I hate that. Wasted time. Like, oh god. Because you can't get that time back. You can't. Yeah. You can't. And trust me, someone's out there waiting for somebody. So mm -hmm. yeah, don't, don't, don't play with people. Uh, we have three more questions. For this is like three a beautiful pair of ladies. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Ooh. If you were arrested with no explanation, <laughs> <laughs> what oh, would your friends and family assume you had done? Oh, <laughs> here comes the tea. Oh, here my it comes. God. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. Ah. no. <laughs> See, oh, I'm, I'm, I don't like confrontations, so I don't go and cut nobody's tires or anything. Mm -hmm. So it's probably something that I've done within myself. Okay. It would probably be like... Mm, drinking too much, like okay. a DUI or something. It was something okay. that I would cause against somebody. It would be just within right. myself. Okay. Like, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Lori. What you did? What you done did? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if I can tell. <laughs> um, if I was arrested, what would my family, Dad, what would my family and friends think if I got arrested? For no reason, they were coming up with the charges. Mm -mm. What would it be? Probably bank robbery. You could, you're you capable of that? Listen, I'm capable of it. Oh, okay. Watch me now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay, set of it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, listen, I told you great areas. Like, I'm, I'm one of those. I can probably, let me not, because I'm on camera. Right. So, <laughs> they <laughs> might, someone might think it was robbery. Okay. <laughs> I honestly think that different people would think different things, mm. um, depending on the person. Mm. So um, one person, okay, so I, I, I am a second degree black belt in martial arts. Mm. Oh, um, really? They just found out, as you can see, <laughs> um, So. Which style? Taekwondo. Oh, nice. really? And I used to teach as well. So people really? may think that I was in jail for defending myself. I, I never would go around I don't start anything. I'm not a starter. I don't start anything. But if people come at me and I feel like I'm threatened, like mm -hmm. if, if men are touching me inappropriately, I might punch him. Gotcha. Something like that. So because assault. I'm being assaulted. So I'm defending okay. myself. Defending. So in that yeah. way, they probably be like, oh, snaps, what was the guy doing? Yeah. And and I was defending myself. I wonder so. if any of my family members would have, maybe, yeah, would have thought that I was assault. probably fighting to, to defend someone. Yeah, it's not, it's not to ever attack anyone. Mm -hmm. It's always to, to defend your honor and your sense of yeah. womanhood. Mm. So if I'm fighting for myself, they probably would assume that first. Okay. okay. I like that. Mm. That was a crazy question just... For the record, it really was. Yeah, it we really handled was. it very well. Though, yes, I think. I think we did. We didn't expose too many skeletons. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go. Shake it fast. Yes. <laughs> Who's going? Is it? Did I? I just question? did that one. Oh, okay. Ooh. Question number fourteen. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, hold on. <laughs> oh no. Why did you have to I'm pick nervous. that one? I think I kinda glanced at that did one. Did you? Yeah. I'm uh, probably. I think I'm just gonna let you read this one. Um. <laughs> no, you picked it. Oh, Lord. What celebrity male would you rate as a 10? Oh, that's a good 
question. Yeah. I'm married, so I would Aww. say my mm-hmm. my celebrity celebrity crush would be my husband. Hey. And since what? he says he's not a celebrity, he that was my past. There it is. I Great areas. <laughs> Hello, watch your girl. Watch your girl. Watch your girl work. <laughs> um, <laughs> a celebrity that I would rate as a ten. Well, actually, we've. <laughs> he's already been you brought gotta, up into the seg- in segments. I'm, I'm sorry. I love okay. Idris Elba. Okay. Like he's first of all that British accent does it for me all the time. Check. That oh that dark chocolate. Uh, double check. Oh yeah, double check. <laughs> and he's tall. And listen, my husband. I do. I I love you dearly. But he resembles him a lot with the pepper. You know. I the, can see that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so okay. I, I got my own little Idris Elba. <laughs> <laughs> watch your girl, watch your girl. <laughs> so I'd say interest. I would definitely say interest. Mm. That's a 10. I have a couple. Mm. Oh, can I you know. narrow it down? No, no, I want to hear. Oh. She said oh, a couple. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I like um, Joe Maginello from True oh, Blood. Oh, yeah. I'll see. Okay. Mm. Italian. Mm-hmm. I like that. Okay. Um, I can see that. I, can I see like that. it. He's a very masculine presence and he seems like he's reserved, mm-hmm. um, but he's very attractive. Mm-hmm. Um, let me see. I think Idris is up there, mm-hmm. definitely. I feel like that's that's a no-brainer. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. <clears throat> There's a few other ones that I can't think about right now. Mm-hmm. There's like probably one or two more. Okay. Because there's everybody has their own little... Different. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Everybody has their own thing that, that's attractive. And mm-hmm. yeah, so... I would say those top two. Let me ask a side note, right? Okay. Because this is this is a conversation I have with my EP a lot, right? Preferences. Mm. I am one that I've always told my EP when it comes to dating and stuff like that, I really don't have like a physical preference or anything, even though he argues with me all the time and tells me I do. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, but I am I'm really attracted to very funny, confident personality personalities yes okay. I'm, I'm very I'm very hooked to a personality because your looks and stuff those things, things are gonna change. fade those things are going yes they're yeah. gonna change they're gonna fade but your personality that's name. that's from the day you were born until the right. day you die Bye. it'll still be that yeah you know so I'm addicted I'm I should say I just said I, would, I don't have an addicted personality attracted. but I'm attracted that's that great area she <laughs> yeah. that keeps coming up that mm-hmm. keeps coming up but I'm attracted to um, personality so. I think personality is important, and I remember someone telling me they didn't have a type and they liked a personality, but then they clearly went back and said, oh, no, I have a particular type. So mm-hmm. it's like you have to be clear about that stuff. Yeah. But um, I think that's what makes the, the question so challenging mm-hmm. because, A, there's beauty in all forms and all races. Yes. Every culture, every ethnicity has something very unique that makes them stand mm-hmm. out. Um, and then, of course, being part of that, that culture or being that individual gives them that personality. So it really, it's it's so many interesting layers that you can use yeah. to to kind of be attracted to someone. But I definitely like a guy who's open. He's not going to judge me for every little thing. I think right. every person should feel like they're accepted by their individual that they're with. Yes. You know, you don't want to be with someone who's overly critical of you because mm-hmm. you can't be, be free, free yourself. Right. And you can't let your guard down if they're going to constantly say something negative. Yeah, true. So, Personalities that are fun too, and and definitely man who's ambitious. Yeah. You know? Whoa. So oh, yeah. people with those yes. characteristics are definitely yes. um, very appealing. I like that. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say Will Smith. That's a good one. Oh, that's a real good yeah. one. I love Will Smith. Like mm-hmm. Bad Boys coming out again. Mm-hmm. Kudos. Yeah. So yes, and my husband loves Will Smith too. So I get my pass. <laughs> so, yes, I love like it goes back to his personality. Like yes. he is dope. He's funny. He's comical. He's not what me and my husband call a try hard. Yeah. You know I mean, he doesn't yeah. try hard to, you know, get your laugh and you just fall out. The, it, it, whatever, what he does comes natural and that draws people to him. Yes. And he's got Love so you, much. Jada. Yeah. <laughs> he's got a lot of depth yeah. too with, with the stuff that him and Jada come out with. Oh yeah, oh I love gosh. it. Very, very engaging. Isn't content. it? Isn't very it? engaging content. Very, very Red dope Table? family. Yes. I love Ooh. Red Table. Did you see their episode? I did. It was really good. Yes. Oh, it was really nice. Yes. Yes. Shout out They've to They've evolved so well. Yeah. Yeah. They've really evolved they really so well. From the very beginning, mm-hmm. literally, mm-hmm. literally. They have a beautiful oh, story. Yeah. Last question, you One have. more question. Did you need a drum roll? Celebrity. Oh, this is the juicy one. Oh, oh okay, okay. So what are some, not one, first date turnoffs? 
Mm. Oh, mm. I have the juice. So, <laughs> <laughs> any guy who's talking about his ex on the first date, oh, you please. need to Hush. go, sir. <laughs> yeah, yes. they'll be like, they'll try I've to been be out slick of the game about for it. Ten years. So. Listen, oh, I've unfortunately, I'm in the same. Right. But it's yeah, it's, they will like they will they will like low key try to bring it up and be like, oh, why do you happened? think they do that? I think they're not over the they're situation. They're not over it. Yeah. And they're trying, to, they're trying to fill some void or get some closure that they didn't get from that person. So yeah. they'll be like, oh, what happened in your last relationship? Oh, this is what happened in mine. And it's like, you're not attracting to You shouldn't even you. ask that right. question. You really shouldn't. <laughs> no. Especially, especially on it's a first date, date or anything. First date. Like, you should, really shouldn't ask any of those questions. Because you're trying to get to know that person. Yeah. It's not, about that, that person yeah. and not your ex or you. Right. right. You know, I think if a guy is is too upfront I'm trying to keep this classy. Mm-hmm. If he's <laughs> if he's too insistent upon a physical thing mm-hmm. on the first date, uh-huh. that's uh, to to me. I can't speak for everyone, but to me, I want I want you to get to know me, and I want you to invest a little bit in me because mm. I do have my own boundaries, and and I'm, I wouldn't be comfortable moving too fast. So I think if he's moving too fast on the first date, and he's not acting as if he's interested. In anything for the long else. Haul. Right. Yeah, he wants that right then and there. And, and yeah. some guys are very, they put a lot of pressure on women. They're sending really provocative photos. Oh. You know. Why? Why do you have to ask me to send you a pic? A pic. Like, really? Like, I'm, oh my gosh, I'm about to just spill some tea right now. Yes. Like, I Ooh. am, I am married, very happily married to an amazing man. And since doing the episode, I get DM'd, right? You know, and really? b- by businesses and stuff like that. But I get like the weirdest things that's been happening is that I get DM'd by people, and the you know, and the first thing you know, they're like, "Oh, you're beautiful," and I'm like, "Oh, thank you." I always take a compliment, you right. know. But it was like, send me a picture. Why? Like you're on my page. You know what I like, like my profile. Right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Why do I need to send you? Oh, but a page? I don't want that picture. I want a different kind. I of want picture. a different kind of picture. And then I don't entertain it because I'm a married woman. I don't need to entertain that. But it's like, first of all, why are you asking me for these kinds of photos and things like that? It's like, listen, like go, listen. you don't know me from a can of paint. Right. And we're yeah. supposed to be trying to get to know each other. You don't want to get to listen. Set a right. All set the this, right. Exactly. Yes. Do not be entitled. You don't. You're no. not. You're not. You're not entitled to anything. Thing. No, it's my choice. It's like, right. Exactly, and all this you want, all this, boy, you gotta get <laughs> mm, that, this first. Like, come on, I don't know, I don't yeah. know, I don't know. That's mm. a good question. That's a good question. Turn off, uh, being corny. <laughs> I like corny though. <laughs> well, 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 here's what I'm saying because, like, like you said earlier, we're attracted to like. Well, I'm also attracted to like a funny personality. Mm-hmm. So if you're coming with these dry jokes and it's like. <laughs> it's like <laughs> not the, not again. the, not the <laughs> like I don't think I wanted to see that on date two and three. You see what I'm saying? So it's like Yeah, mm, I get that. Yeah, I get that. I get yeah. that. Improv. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean like just or it to take it a step further, being cornered of not being yourself. Mm. Of being who you think. That person wants so to So trying be. too hard and being trying inauthentic. Trying too hard. But That's see, a good one, girl. See, going like, back to my, trying too hard. So mm. I have a question. What about being too much of yourself? Like being extra? Well, not like... Well, you know... Not even being extra, the, but just giving them way too much of you on the first date? Oh, no. I don't like that. Oh. But, but yeah, here's the thing. Because sometimes some people take other people in doses. You can't yes. really, you gotta fill them out first. You I'm getting to just, learn you, so right. I don't want everything. You gotta hold back a little bit. Right. Just a little bit. So, yeah. yeah. That's a good, that's a good, on the receiving end, you can definitely be someone who's who's trying to put too much out there too soon, maybe right. out of desperation or right. um, lack of experience. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's definitely a two-way street because the other person could get turned off from what you're doing and not understand that you're coming across yeah. a certain way too. Yeah. And don't get me wrong because there may be another person who does the same thing that you do mm-hmm. and they may give themselves too much too so you just probably don't have the right person for you. Right. That's, oh, so good you know point. That That's is a really great point. So you yeah. may have really someone who just jumps in there and you're just looking for that same person to do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So just kind of fill out who you're dating yeah. as to like, hey, you know what? Let me reel it back a little bit or try to, you know, find someone else who is in it just like I am. Mm-hmm. So if that makes sense. I love so. I'm going to add one big one in. I don't like manipulators or people who are trying oh, to play with your feelings yeah. on the first date. People will put you through tests on the first date because, you know, you're not going to see, you know, you're not going to see everything that? on the first date. Right. So like people will try to, Play, play it too cool. Yeah. They're gonna. I don't want to tell her how I feel because I don't want her to get conceited. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna withhold compliments and well, all those. Well, that would you would miss your opportunity. 
Mm-hmm. Tell so, it. So, yeah, you hold everything back. It's like, if this person, like you said earlier in the, in the episode, if this person is seeing more than one person mm-hmm. and you don't shoot your shot, mm. that number three may be bumped up to number one. There you so, go. There you go. Hey, it, you know, it happens. You got to be your best it self happens. and be your real self at right. all times. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. This has been an amazing episode for it to be my season finale to have these beautiful women with me and this great game for segment two. Oh my gosh i just want to thank first you both shania and christina for this co-hosting with me this was a great great way to end the season and what i want to say is um that I can't wait for season two. I hope you guys will be with me on my journey. Oh, I hope so. That's <laughs> good. That's and a I, given. Yes. yes. And I definitely want to thank, um, definitely I want to thank the um, network, um, Emerging Black Network, for helping me put on such a great show. I want to thank my stylist, Kimberly Russell, and Classy Couture Fashions for keeping me very stylish through there. I want to thank my EP and all my guests, all the interviews that I've done um, for the season. It's been great. And before we go, ladies, because it's just stationary, we've always done it, we want to make sure that people, if you have anything that you want the people to know about you and stuff, places that they need to follow you, please drop your information right now. All right, y'all. So for my jewelry line, you can follow me um, on Instagram at cfoam.c.gifts. I also have an Etsy page, so it's www.etsy.com slash um, shops, and then it's slash cfoam um, gifts, and that's all together. Oh, excellent. excellent. Yeah, I'm over here writing that down. <laughs> <laughs> Um, for myself, I'm on Facebook, Nabella Hilton, and on IG, Nabella816. Um, that's the only platforms I have right now while I'm working on what I'm trying to get out there right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I will mm-hmm. follow you too. Yes, yeah, stay support. tuned. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh. This was such a great episode and a great way to end the season. I'm your host, Lori Lovelbar, and this was In My City. Thanks, ladies. Cheers. You're welcome. This was fun. I love this.